Hey guys, it's Zach G here from Zach G Outdoors again, and we're here with another fishing video, saltwater based, just because that's really the only thing that's available to me right now. But this weekend I'm going out bass fishing at my favorite pond, so hopefully gonna be a bass fishing vid out next week. But to get into this one, uh, fishing at the jetties, and it's over three days. I don't remember all the fish I caught. I'm pretty sure it was around the thing of like ladyfish, uh, trout, or you know some Jack Cravel, you know you never know. But uh, yeah, yesterday I smacked him on uh, some top one and everything else. So yeah, uh, so let's get into the video and I'll catch up with you at the gear review at the end. Jack. Took my tail off my swim bait again. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's something big chasing. Jack, I wanna, I wanna swim bait. Fat 
sucker though. Look at him. He got all three hooked in his mouth. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Here he is. So that's great. There he goes. Really about this sun gun. There we go. Yeah, he's a ladyfish. I can tell. Fish finally, the first one I landed. Keep my hunt now, that's it. This little ladyfish, be free. Ladyfish. This one, that one has a little bit of messed up eye, but you know, that kind of stuff happens to them sometimes. Fish. Today's ladyfish day, yesterday was Jack's. They are so acrobatic. Oh. I dropped it. There we go. <laughs> 
I think I got him again. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, these guys got some teeth on them. Another one. These things are really cool. Once you take away from their school, they just act like they're not even hooked and they just swim. Nice little ladyfish again. I'm gonna get my car seat smell nasty. There we go. Nice little skipjack. him barely hooked. With it <laughs> with a hair on his chin. That's awesome. Finally, I got one on the top water. There he goes. I'll do like a couple more casts and then I'm gonna head out of here. It's been a long time without a bite. Got into the jacks, yes. Finally. Figured they weren't going completely. All right, y'all, we're here now at the gear review for this video. So basically, I'm gonna go, to, go over what kind of gear I use to catch my fish on and how I actually fish them. So our rod here, again, is gonna be the Ugly Stick GX2 rod, medium heavy, fast action tip. And then our reel here is a Daiwa, Daiwa aired coastal casting reel and seven one to one gear ratio, I believe. And I got main braid of 30 pounds and then I have a leader of 20 pound uh, fluoro. All right, so lures, 
Uh, so my favorite two, uh, so far were the were this top was this top water right here. It's a soup, uh, a Hedden Super Spook Junior. This is like a little chug and spook right here, and then this is just regular uh, Super Spook Junior. And then I have this swim bait jig head, which is actually a choke card jig head, which I use for swim baiting and everything. And then I also have these little DOA Cal swim baits in this color, which is like a green pumpkin mix kind of color, as well as possibly a white color. I don't remember ex exactly, but you know, yeah, use either one of the two swim baits, and you'll probably see during the video whenever I'm taking the lure out of the fish's mouth. But uh, uh, from that, um, so we're gonna go, and those are the, that's the lures and the rod and reel here. So now we're gonna go over how I actually fish these things. So top water, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just cast it out, and I uh, try to cast it out next to some bait fish rinse. Since I think this whole week has been the uh, the mullet run here uh, out in Corpus, I think might be going on longer but I think I've just been seeing a bunch of bait fish you know grouping around and swimming together it's pretty easy to see them moving around on the water and stuff so with the top water at least I try to either cast on the outsides of the bait ball or in, in the middle of it and just start really working erratically just to get some action on the water and then sometimes well majority of the time the fish would just come up and smack it right there and then I'd set the hook into them or just be a little bit outside of the bait ball and they just smack it then and then swim bait wise I would actually just cast it out same same kind of places either in the middle on the outside of the bait ball and either just straight reel it or reel it and just twitch it just get some the the bait, the bait bouncing and stuff and commonly when I did that I saw um, fish following my lure almost all the way up to the rocks I was standing on so that seemed to really get them interested in the bait and if not you know I actually in this one of the second part the last parts of the video I had lost the fish it popped off and then I cast it right to where I thought I saw it, I thought where I saw it was going, and actually hooked it back up into it again and got him. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I fish a swim bait in the top waters. Honestly, a lot of fun. Um, I really can't wait to go back out saltwater fishing again. This last part was kind of slow because I guess that some of the fish just weren't biting at all. I'm not sure exactly what was going on, but still a lot of fun. Um, so that's going to be the gear review for this saltwater fishing video. And again, like I said, I'm going to be going bass fishing this weekend. So hopefully I do pretty good there and get a video out from there. So I look forward to doing that. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, more videos coming out here soon. Uh, more um, saltwater and freshwater. Just to hopefully mix a little bit of both. So thank you for watching. Like I've said already, and have a good day. I'll catch you later in the next video.